of Nightmare. Hello and welcome back to a bonus episode of Hail to the Deadites. I'm G and I'll be your host for today. So since sort of our last update video, which would have been for South by Southwest, uh, there's been some more Evil Dead Rise stuff coming up. There's a new skin in Evil Dead the Game and just some more stuff I'd like to chat about. So I thought it's a Sunday night. I'm having a glass of wine. We'll just let's just record a nice little lazy episode. So first up, uh, Warner Brothers put out a new green band trailer for Evil Dead Rise. So I thought we could watch that and react to it. So I will put my reacting headphones on because that's all I use them for. No matter how busy you ever got, you always found time for me. And I can't believe I'm never gonna speak to you again. <laughs> when I was just a little girl, I asked my mother. What is this, Danny? I found it. Price of eggs these days, and she's wasting them. Don't let her take my babies. This what happened to Paul. If it happened to us, this evil creates terror. This cabin scene is how the movie starts off. I know that from reading some stuff. That seems gonna be a crazy jump scare Open in the theater. I'm getting this out of here. You'd be a good mom someday, honey bath. Oh yeah? Yeah, you know how to lie to kids. This elevator sequence is also gonna be insane, I think. With the maggots now. I still have a distaste for that line. What will be, will be. Eeny, meeny, miny. You. Man. That movie is gonna be so good. I say that every single time I talk about Evil Dead Rise. And especially from what I've heard from the South by Southwest screenings, that movie's gonna be so goddamn good. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna rock your goddamn socks off. And I haven't even seen it yet. That's my pre-review of Evil Dead Rise. It's gonna rock your fucking socks off. So much that my headphones fall off my desk. That uh, trailer really- it, it probably had a few little bits of new footage, but I just- wasn't able to tell what was new footage and what we've seen and what we haven't seen already because it's a Sunday night and I'm having a glass of wine. But no, I think that gives a lot more sort of story stuff per se. Uh, it seems a little bit more in chronological order somewhat, uh, which is how they shot the film. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait. I'm trying to, th I'll be, I'll be at the movie theater like at least twice before this comes out. And I really hope to see an Evil Dead Rise trailer on the big screen twice before the movie comes out. So next up is a little bit of Evil Dead the game news. So Twitter user at Tiger567 uh, just met Ted Raimi at a convention that happened this weekend. I don't know which, but I've seen a lot of pictures of people with Sam and Bruce and Ted. Anyways, um, so obviously people were asking about stuff that they're involved in. Um, and someone asked, or Twitter user Tiger567 asked Ted Raimi if Chet was coming to Evil Dead the game. And he said, hmm, well, I never signed an NDA, so maybe, and then winked. I think I am also one of maybe few people that really want Chet in Evil Dead the game. I think it'd be a hilarious addition to the roster 
because he's such like a non threatening character like i don't think he like fights really at all during the show somewhat so i'd be i'd be really interested to see if they put him in the game sort of what character class he would get because like in terms of support i don't think he'd be a support um because he's not a very supportive uh character to really anyone but ash also in the evil dead game news realm uh they released another variant of the savini ash skin which was a pre-order bonus um and this one's a little creepier looking it's it's a lot more red but yeah this is such a cool skin it's such a cool idea to have like such a big figure in the horror world design a skin for a media entry in a franchise that's really big and important to the horror world um so i'll be interested to see when this comes out how it looks in terms of character stuff. I have the Savini Ash skin, but I don't play as Ash. I mostly main like Ruby and Cheryl. Um, I'd say more so Cheryl because I only just got Ruby when the DLC came out and played as her a couple times. But I really like playing as her because I love Lucy Lawless. Um, petition for a Xena skin for Ruby because I think that'd be really awesome. So next up, we've got another little trailer thing to react to. Uh, this one was posted today and all it says is knock knock. Um, so let's put our reacting headphones back on and react. Get away from the door. Open up now. Okay, so that's definitely, um, cut together somewhat, I think, because we know that scene of Hurt the Door is when they have the dresser pushed up against it and they have... One of the kids. Oh god, what's her name? Yeah, the scene with uh, Ellie outside the door is when child number three, the youngest child, is up on the bureau that's shoved in front of the door. So yeah, that was cut together. Really cool. Um, I cannot wait to see this movie. Again, that's my statement. I cannot wait to see this movie. They could put out like a three second black screen clip with just like evil dead rise in like comic sans on it and i'd be like this is the best trailer ever and i wouldn't even be joking i wouldn't even be doing it ironically it would genuinely make me happy so next up we actually got tagged in this tweet which is super cool to be tagged in like a brand's tweet uh but cavity colors is releasing an army of darkness collection tuesday which is march 28th as of recording. And they're bringing back an Army of Darkness tee that looks super fucking cool. And also they're bringing back a few more classic shirts for Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Cannot wait to see that. Thank you for tagging us in that so that we see it and share it with the followers of Hail to the Deadites. And yeah, I mean, we'll take a PR package any day. We'll take free merch any day if you wanna, if you want us to talk it up. I mean, I already own a bunch of Cavity Colors stuff and I absolutely love it. So if you wanna send me more and I'll talk a lot about it, I'll say a lot of nice things and I'll be genuine. So following that, there's an early screening of Evil Dead Rise in Chicago on April 6th. I am so jealous. I am so insanely jealous that there are so many advanced screenings of this movie and none that I can see because they're all in the US. Um, and I'm in Canada, so it's it's just unfortunate that I will not get to see this movie early. So next up, we have devastating news. My favorite Twitter account, Sam Raimi Updates. Shout out to Sam Raimi Updates. Terrible news from Lee Cronin, and terrible news for all Evil Dead fans, including me, that were rooting for this. The Delta is not in Evil Dead Rise. It's not in Evil Dead Rise. I am so sad. I am so sad because every time I watch a Sam Raimi movie, I am waiting to see that car. When I saw Multiverse of Madness, I was vibrating the entire time waiting for a Bruce cameo, a Ted cameo, and the car. And we never got a Ted cameo in that movie, but we did get Bruce in the car. And I was alerting my boyfriend that the car was in this shot within like a millisecond of seeing it because that's how much I was excited for it and looking for it. And I was excited to do that for Evil Dead Rise, but... Unfortunately, the Oldsmobile Delta 88 is not in Evil Dead Rise, and I am devastated about that. That is heartbreaking news. That's more heartbreaking than the fact I won't get to see the film early. So also more devastating news, uh, they are taking Ash vs. Evil Dead off Netflix, which is really saddening because, like, uh, not a lot of people saw the show when it was coming out because they put it on Stars, which honestly I didn't hear of since I started watching Ash vs. Evil Dead and it was a Stars original show. 
So it's very sad. I hope it gets picked up by another streaming network to share because it's such a cool show and I feel like just hiding it from like public consumption really, really sucks. That's the thing, that's the thing I hate about streaming services is just how once something's gone off of it, like it's not findable again, really. I mean, there's like certainly some other ways to uh, get media online. It starts with a T or a P depending on the type of name you want to give it but it's just not the same as having it so easily accessible for people on the other side of that i have some good news we at hail to the deadites will be doing an episode by episode review and recap leading up to when it's being taken off netflix that's right for 30 days straight there will be a video where i recap and review every single episode of hash versus evil dead so keep your eyes peeled for that and don't question when in like 10 videos in a row I look the exact same and I'm wearing the same shirt because I'm probably gonna batch record these because it's not it's not ethical for me to record a video every single day for 30 days I just I just wouldn't be able to do it so I'm gonna batch record it and it'll be out so starting this Thursday March 30th there will be a recap and review of every single episode of Ash vs. Evil Dead leading up to April 28th so even amidst all the Evil Dead Rise coverage I will be doing when the movie comes out, these videos will still be coming out. So I hope you're as excited as I am to relive that show once more before it's taken off Netflix forever. Luckily I have a physical copy. I found a physical copy at a pawn shop and I bought it and I'm so glad I did. That's the Ash vs. Evil Dead Netflix news. Hopefully someone else picks it up to stream because, I don't know, people probably found out about Evil Dead through this show being on Netflix and people thought it was a Netflix original show which gave it a little bit more fuel to the fire, gas in the tank of people wanting to watch it or whatever. Ash vs. Evil Dead, I hope you find a new home to live on and have people uh, hate the ending because they never got to do a wrap-up of the show because it was cancelled so abruptly. Following that, uh, the Evil Dead account posted this wonderful little video about uh, wine and cheese pairing to promote Evil Dead Rise. It's absolutely wonderful. You know, we get the really scary shot of Danny eating a wine glass, which is so scary. Uh, actually, I think one of the behind the scenes photos that Lee Cronin posted was of a bunch of like half broken wine glasses. So it's probably from this scene. Um, I'll throw that photo up here if I can find it. And then also they're still going hard on the cheese grater marketing, which I love. I want to get a pair of mini cheese graters, like little tiny ones, and make them into earrings to wear to see Evil Dead Rise and also to wear while doing all my coverage for Evil Dead Rise. So this is this is a perfect little marketing thing. So there's also going to be an early advanced screening of Evil Dead Rise in Atlanta on April 10th. This is like, this is, I'm so jealous. I know this is like the third time I've talked about early advanced screenings of the movie, but I'm so jealous. And I'm so sad that I live in a place where there's no advanced screenings. Because there's no big theater here besides our local theater chain. Which hates indie movies because it's a small town theater. So it's only really playing blockbusters to uh, get money because it's such a small town that really no one wants to see independent movies like this. Now, this isn't really an independent movie, but smaller films. I will literally protest if my theater does not get Evil Dead Rise. I will drive four hours to the next theater to see this movie if I do not get to see it in my hometown. I'm dedicated. And then finally to top this off, in New York City, you can see Evil Dead Rise two weeks early. So probably around that same weekend or that same week of like April 6th to 10th or whatever. I'm so jealous. Fangoria's hosting it slash promoting it, I think. I really, really, really want to see this movie. So that's all I really pulled for this little bonus episode. We have a new episode coming out Tuesday, which I've been hinting about on our social media of who our guest is and our interview topic. So excited for that. So excited for that. It's a person I've wanted on the podcast since we started it. Uh, so I'm very excited to have him on the podcast and be able to talk about this topic that I think is really important for horror fans and a really insightful new perspective for Evil Dead fans. So I can't wait for that. Yeah. And then that's, we'll just, we'll just go from there. And then Thursday, uh, the Ash vs. Evil Dead recap and reviews will start. 
and I I really hope you enjoy them because I hope I will enjoy re-watching the show as much as you do and who knows we might even do some like Patreon exclusive episodes where I do a commentary track for the entire episode um, I think that would also be really fun to do so the infamous horror Patreon is down in the description if you'd like to see that depending on if I do it I'll definitely announce if I'm doing that or whatever but yeah I think that's gonna be all for this episode so thank you so much for watching uh, I will see you multiple times this week to be talking about evil hood stuff really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe uh let me know down in the comments what you're excited to see in terms of evil dead rise are you going to an advanced screening are you gonna go to like the midnight showing at your local theater let me know what your plans are for seeing the film and i will weep with jealousy that i have to wait so long to see it so thank you so much for watching again and i will see you on tuesday stay groovy